The less you care, the happier you'll be. Take a deep breath, and think about that for a second. How much of your stress comes from things that don't really matter? Worries about what people think of you, pressure to meet other people's expectations, or trying way too hard to be perfect? What if you could just let go of all that? Imagine if you could focus on what makes you happy and live life by your own rules, not what everyone else wants. This isn't about ignoring things that are important. It's about making choices that put your peace first. Today, we're going to explore how to do that, and we're going to learn from some of the smartest people in history who knew how to care less. In all the right ways. Let's start with Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers. Marcus Aurelius was the Emperor of Rome, which meant he had huge responsibilities, but he still managed to find peace by focusing only on what really mattered. He wrote about the importance of only worrying about what you can control. One of his most famous quotes is, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This idea is timeless. When we start to worry too much about what other people think or try to control things we can't, we lose our inner peace. Marcus Aurelius knew that true happiness comes when you let go of what you can't control and focus only on what you can. The less you care about everything else, the more you free yourself from stress. Imagine if you could let go of every little thing that bothers you. Every comment, every look, every small disappointment. How much lighter would you feel? The key is not to ignore the world around you, but to decide what truly deserves your energy. Next, let's talk about Lao Tzu Zhu, who started Taoism. He had a beautiful way of talking about letting go. He taught about something called Yu Wu Wei, which means effortless action. Lao Tzu believed that true happiness comes from going with the flow of life, instead of always fighting it. He said, e by letting it go, it all gets done. Think about that. How often do we waste our energy trying to control every little thing? We plan every detail, stress over every outcome, and try to make everything perfect. But Lao Tzu's wisdom shows us that when we stop resisting, we find peace. Happiness is like water. It will flow where it's meant to if we stop putting up barriers. When we let go of trying to control everything, we make space for joy to naturally enter our lives. Sometimes the best thing we can do is step back and trust that things will work out. Life doesn't have to be a constant struggle. When we relax, we find that many things take care of themselves. And now, before we go any further, give yourself a part on the back for sticking with me this far. Not everyone does. You're not just scrolling mindlessly. You're here because you want to grow and that's a sign of true strength. So now that you've made it this far, let's go all the way to the end together. Remember, the more you care about the right things, like your own growth and happiness, the less space there is for unnecessary worries. Now, let's move on to Jean Paul Sartre, an existentialist philosopher. Sartre had some very interesting ideas about freedom and being true to yourself. He thought that a lot of our suffering comes from trying to live up to what society expects from us. Sartre said, man is condemned to be free. It sounds strange, but what he meant was that we are all free to make our own choices, but we often trap ourselves by trying to live up to what others want. The less we care about what other people think, and the more we focus on being true to ourselves, the happier we become. Sartre's challenge to us is simple, take responsibility for your own happiness, and don't let anyone else decide your worth. When you let go of trying to please everyone else, life becomes so much lighter and more enjoyable. Imagine the freedom that comes when you stop worrying about whether you fit in or whether people like you. Instead, focus on liking yourself, because that's what truly matters. You have the power to define your own happiness, and that power is a lot stronger than any opinion someone else might have about you. The Buddha, the great teacher of Buddhism, also talked about the dangers of attachment. He said, 
you only lose what you cling to. Think about how much unhappiness comes from holding on too tightly, whether it's material things, relationships, or even our own ideas. We think these things will make us happy, but often they end up causing us pain. Buddha's advice is clear, let go of attachment, and you will find freedom. This doesn't mean you can't love people or care about things, it means you shouldn't be desperate or afraid of losing them. By caring less about things that are out of our control and focusing more on our own calm and well-being, we can create room for real happiness to grow. Imagine if you could love freely, without fear. If you could enjoy what you have, without always worrying about losing it. That kind of mindset allows true happiness to flourish, because you're no longer a prisoner to your fears. Friedrich Nietzsche, another brilliant philosopher, had a strong opinion about happiness and caring less. Nietzsche believed that true fulfillment comes from being your real self. Even if that means standing alone sometimes. He said, become who you are. To really become who you are, you have to let go of the need for other people to approve of you. Nietzsche's message is bold. Embrace your individuality. Stop worrying about what others think. And you'll find true happiness. When we accept ourselves, including all our flaws, we find the joy of being our true selves. Think about how much energy we spend trying to hide our imperfections or trying to be someone we're not. When you embrace who you are, imperfections and all, you find a kind of happiness that no one can take away from you. The less you care about being perfect, the more you can focus on simply being you. And that's where real happiness lies. Now, let's talk about the modern world. Think about social media, how much stress comes from constantly comparing yourself to others. The pressure to get likes, to have the perfect life, it's exhausting. Alan Watts, a philosopher who helped bring Eastern philosophy to the West, once said, you're under no obligation to be the same person you were five minutes ago. That's such a freeing thought. We often trap ourselves in the image we create, whether online or in real life. Watts reminds us that we have the power to change, to stop trying to impress everyone, and to just be ourselves. The less we care about keeping up appearances, the happier we can be. True happiness isn't about being admired, it's about being real. Social media makes it easy to feel like we need to be constantly perfect. But real joy comes when we, we stop pretending and start embracing our true selves. You are allowed to change, to grow, and to be different from who you were yesterday. The less you care about the illusion of perfection, the more you, you can enjoy the beauty of being human. Another great thinker was Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who taught that our happiness is mostly about how we react to things, not about the things themselves. He said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. How often do we let things that are out of our control ruin our day? Someone cuts us off in traffic. A stranger is rude, or something just doesn't go our way. These things happen, but they don't have to mess up our mood. What if you could just let it go? What if you decided that someone else's actions aren't worth losing your peace? By caring less about other people's actions and more about how we react, we take a big step toward lasting happiness. Imagine if, instead of letting someone else's bad mood ruin your day, you could simply shrug it off and move on. Your reaction is your choice, and choosing peace over anger is one of the best decisions you can make for your own happiness. Let's also talk about Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and psychiatrist who wrote about finding meaning even in the hardest times. Frankl said, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. He went through unimaginable hardships, but he found strength by focusing on what he could control, his attitude. The less we care about what we can't change and focus on what we can, the stronger and happier we become. Frankl's story shows us that we always have a choice in how we see things, no matter how tough life gets. Life is full of challenges, but how we face those challenges is up to us. 
Imagine if you could find meaning even in difficult times, if you could turn hardship into a source of strength. That's the power of letting go of what you can't control and focusing on what you can. Epicurus, a Greek philosopher, also had something important to say about happiness. He said, do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. How many times have we chased after the next big thing? More success, more money, more approval, only to realize it doesn't make us happy for long. Epicurus teaches us that real happiness doesn't come from having everything, but from needing less. By caring less about what we don't have and more about what we already do, we create space for real contentment. Happiness isn't about getting more, it's about enjoying what's already there. Think about how often we take what we have for granted, because we're always focused on what's next. When you care less about what's missing, and more about what's present, you start to see just how much you already have to be grateful for. Contentment isn't about adding more to your life, it's about appreciating the abundance that's already there. Take a moment here, uh, you've made it this far and that's something to celebrate. Not everyone takes the time to grow and invest in themselves. You're still here, and that means you're ready for change. Let's keep going and finish strong. Remember, the journey to happiness is all about letting go of what weighs you down and holding on to what lifts you up. Essie Ren Kierkegaard, a Danish philosopher, also had something to say about why caring less can make you happier. He believed that a lot of anxiety comes from trying to make decisions that align with what society expects, instead of following your own heart. Kierkegaard once wrote, Anxiety is the dizziness of freedom. The more we try to live up to everyone else's expectations, the more anxious we feel. But when we start caring less about fitting in and more about following our own voice, we free ourselves from all that stress and step into true happiness. Imagine if you could make choices based on what truly matters to you, not on what you think will impress others. That's where real freedom comes in. When you care less about meeting everyone else's standards and more about what makes you feel fulfilled. In today's world, it's so easy to get caught up in caring too much about what others think how we're seen, and things we can't control. But if we listen to these great thinkers, Marcus Aurelius, Lo Tzu, Jane Paul Sartre, Buddha, Nietzsche, Alan Watts, Epictetus, Viktor Frankl, Epicurus, and Kierkegaard, we realize that the secret to happiness isn't in caring more, it's in caring less. It's about letting go of what doesn't matter, focusing on what really does, and finding freedom in that simplicity. The less we let the noise of the world affect us, the more we can focus on what truly brings us joy. Imagine the kind of life you could live if you stopped letting the opinions of others dictate your happiness. If you cared less about fitting into someone else's mold and more about what sets your soul on fire. If you've made it all the way here, thank you. You're watching this because you want more peace, more growth and more happiness in your life. Remember, the less you care about things that drain your energy, the happier you'll be. Life isn't about trying to be perfect or collecting worries. It's about enjoying simple joys, letting go of what holds you back, and being true to yourself. Every step you take towards letting go is a step towards more freedom, more peace, and more joy. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. It costs nothing, but it really helps me out and lets me keep making more content like this. And if you're still here, I want you to comment the word freedom below so I know you've watched until the end. Thank you for your time, your dedication and your focus. And remember, the less you care, the happier you'll be.